Okay. But uh, my first question was uh, the meaning of Amadia, because in my country, we have uh, Amadia school. But I haven't got uh, any contact with that school because sometimes when I, when I see the school, I say that it's only a school. But when I arrived here, I met uh, my friend Raja. Really, actually. Raja. And he told me. What, what's your name? Raja Huh? Raja uh, what are you saying, Raja? Yes. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> okay. He told me about uh, Ahmad Amdia. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I want to know the purpose of Amadia. The, the purpose of Amadia. And uh, I want to know if there is a difference between Amadia community and other community. If yes, there is. why? Okay. You want That's to answer? Okay. <coughs> I'll give you a short answer, which is central to the question. All the rest of the debate is raging round the central point, not regarding the central point. Mm -hmm. There was a prophecy or a series of prophecies there were from Hazrat Muhammad Rasulullah regarding the advent of the Mahdi and the advent of the Messiah. Right or wrong? <coughs> right. Tell me, right? Yeah. I think. So the real difference, the central difference is, we believe that that Imam has come. And the rest of the Muslims reject that. That's the, all the difference. Now, for instance, they ha emphasize the difference regarding prophethood. And they say, while all the other mainstream Muslims understand the words Khatam and Nabiyin and other traditions of Rasulullah to mean that there will be no prophet whatsoever after Hazrat Muhammad Rasulullah Against this united belief of all the Muslims, they say, look at the Ahmadis, they have made a new prophet for themselves. They say this is the difference. Okay, let's first turn to the issue again which I said was the central, was central to the debate. The Mahdi and the Messiah. Let us hear from them who blame us of having invented a new meaning and attributed, attributed it to Abbas Khatam and Nabiyin and understand what their view about this is. Okay? If you ask these ulama, Will the Messiah who would come be a prophet of God or not? What will be the answer? He's not God. One? He's not God. <coughs> He's not God. Yeah. But the one who will come yeah. in the Ummah, and they believe he has not come. But if you ask them, will he be a prophet of God or not, what do you think would be the answer? I think uh, we have uh, we have uh, only uh, we have uh, one God. I'm not talking of go oneness of yeah. God or yeah. reality of God. Yeah. Please try to understand. I know it's difficult for you to fully understand English, but I'll make it easier. I tell you the answer. <coughs> All the Muslims, yeah. Orthodox Muslims, mainstream leaders of Islam, believe that Jesus, Son of Mary would return to earth once again and he will remain to be a prophet of God. See? This is their common belief. So will after the demise of Hazrat Muhammad Rasulullah a prophet come or not come? This is the question. They all agree with us that he will be a prophet of God. So this concept about the difference in, in Khatma is totally false. The difference is of a different nature. I'm going to explain. Please listen to me. Okay. The difference is, now this is a very interesting way of holding their air. They do it like this, from behind. I can't, they can. You see, what they say is, 
that God had decided that there will be no prophet after Hazrat Muhammad Rasulullah. So he declared him to be the last in time. But the problem God faced was there would be need for another prophet. How would he fulfill that need? <laughs> you see? So they attribute a very cunning device to Allah. Allah is not a cunning thing. The Muslims are, unfortunately. They attribute this cunning device. They said, God said, all right, I'll condone my mistake by keeping genes alive for just such an opportunity or requirement, such an eventuality. And when prophet, the last prophet would have come and there will be need for another prophet, I'll bring back Jesus the other way around. You know, like the bypasses around the cities, so he will not crash through the seal of prophethood, but he would bypass it and come from old and uh, begin to prophesy in Islam as a prophet. We say, for God's sake, <laughs> don't attribute your own intricacies, of, inti the intricacies of your own mind to Allah, the source of all wisdom. If there was need for prophethood, as you agree, why should he have declared prophethood to have come to an end? And is that the only way he could meet the requirement? We suggest another way. Why was the Holy Prophet final, last? Because he had brought a Sharia, which was perfect. Because he had brought a book which was unchangeable. So a book which is unchangeable, which is perfect, cannot be changed. That is how he is the last. <coughs> so, as far as the requirement of the future ages is con are concerned, those requirements would demand the coming of a prophet. That is the point where both we and the mainstream Muslims fully agree. <coughs> Only they say this requirement would be met by God by bringing an old prophet of Israel back to Islam. We say, why couldn't he make a prophet out of the Ummah of Hazrat Muhammad Rasulullah What is the difference? Why should he, Jesus come and become a Muslim this time? They say, because after Hazrat Muhammad Rasulullah no non-Muslim prophet can come. So a prophet from the old stock brought back and made to enter the new stock and that is how Allah fulfills the requirement. What an intricate system of thinking. The simple thing is, and when you say, why he was, they say, Muhammad Rasulullah Sallam is the last. His Sharia is the last. So Jesus Christ could not be accepted as a valid prophet until he had entered Islam and become a follower. So the essence of the difference is, will a prophet come who would be a follower of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or will a prophet come who would not be a follower of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? That is the only question. We agree, yes. But we object to the modus operandi. We say Allah could have raised a Muslim holy man to defend the cause of Islam and declared him a prophet under Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which Jesus